everyone welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here welcome my name is Callie and this is my youtube channel dedicated to all things nails beauty and business so in today's video I'm going to be doing something I've never done on my channel before it's a little bit different um, I've really been getting into playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. It's a really fun app game, and I know everyone's been playing the new um, Animal Crossing New Horizons game, I think it's called, but that's for Nintendo Switch. But I really like the app game. It's really fun, a really nice way to relax, and the animations are so cute, the designs are adorable, all the characters are really sweet. And yes, this is just a really fun game that I've been enjoying lately, and I wanted to share it with you. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a kind of gameplay thing with this Animal Crossing Pocket Camp app, and then I'm going to show you guys some nail art that I created that was inspired by this brand and the game, and it turned out really cute. So I'm excited to show you guys both of these things. So let's start with the gameplay portion of the video. And if you're not in interested in the game, then you can skip to the timestamp that I'll put on screen where you can go just watch the nail art. And yeah, so let's just get started. So this, is, so this is my character on the game. My name is Sparkle. And also I'll be leaving my friend ID in the description box down below because it's always great to have friends on this game. Also, if you play this game, let me know in the comments. So before we get started today, I think I just wanna change my outfit first. I'm going to be wearing one of my favorite outfits. It's probably my favorite outfit in the whole game. This is really cute dress, it's so pretty. And I think that's good, so I'm just going to do that. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of my campsite. So it's not super cohesive yet. I'm still collecting a lot of um, furniture and things. I've only been playing this game for, I think, um, I've been paying attention to the daily check-in thing. So I think about 10 days I've been playing this game for. It's so much fun. I do have a lot of critters visiting my camp right now. Um, I also have a tent being built, but this right here is my favorite part of my whole campsite. This is my little Sakura themed garden area. I think it's so cute. I won a lot of these in the current event um, prizes, like when you finish a task you get a bunch of cute things sometimes, so this is really cute. My favorite part of my whole camp. And yeah, so I think I'm going to check on my garden really quickly. I'll show you guys that too. This is my flower garden. Oh, that's exciting. We got some of the bees that we need to collect for this event, so let's do that. I really like the current event. I really love cherry blossoms, Sakura. They're so pretty. Sakura, I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. Oh, I think we just completed a task. Let's see. Oh, this little character is so cute. Oh cool, we got a gift. Oh, that's great. It depends when you finish a task in the current event. Sometimes you get kind of um, a supply or you can win like a um, exclusive furniture item or a clothing item or something. I think that's where I won this dress also. I just really like the current event. Uh, let me go ahead. I'll also give you guys a tour of my camper and my cabin while we're here. I'm still paying off a current loan for my camper it's quite expensive but i think it was worth it so again it's not super cohesive everything's a little bit mismatched but i think it looks cute anyway it's really cozy i just added this new tv to my camper i really like it so i'll show you upstairs too this is one of my favorite things i've done in my um in my camper so far, I got this really cute pink floor and this really sunny yellow wallpaper. I think it looks adorable. I really like this room. I like the slipper rack and it's a little bit more cohesive in here just because I have three of the same themed um, pieces, but it's really cute. I really like this room. So now I'll show you guys my cabin. I'm very interested to see what the upstairs of my cabin will look like because I haven't unlocked that yet, but I do have the downstairs open, so I'll show you guys that. So this is my cabin, once again, not super cohesive, but I really like it anyway. And I really like the little fireplace. I'm most proud of my kitchen over here. It took me a while to collect all those pieces and I like how it turned out. And I just think it's really cute. It's kind of rustic and it's really sweet. So 
and I'm just gonna do a few other things in the game. Basically, this video is kind of meant to be sort of a chill with me video where we just play the game together, so if you want to play along with me, then feel free to do so, or you can just watch if you want something relaxing to listen to. I know I've really been enjoying watching Animal Crossing New Horizons videos and Animal Crossing Pocket Camp videos. It's a really nice way to relax, and it's just fun. I like these type of videos. Also, let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos like this. I know it's not everyone's thing, but I just thought it would be a fun thing to try. I'm really enjoying trying new things on my channel and my Instagram lately, so just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I see a notification by my social tab, so let me just check that. I'll just help some of my friends with the Shovel Strike Quarry requests. I really, really love the Shovel Strike Quarry. It's one of my favorite things to do in the game. It's so much fun. This is my market box at the moment. I haven't sold anything today. Usually my fruit in the market box goes pretty quickly, but not yet. So I think I'm going to share some bees with some of my friends while we're here. Since I have a bunch of them. I also really like using the Pete's Parcel Service. It's so much easier than having to go to every single location and fill requests for the characters. Sometimes you do, it doesn't always let you do every single one like this, but if I can, I try to do most of them like this just because it's a lot easier and faster. Let me know in the comments who your favorite Animal Crossing character is. I have so many favorites, most of them are at my campsite right now, but my current favorite is probably Ketchup. She is, I think she's a duck and she is just so cute. I got all of the furniture that she needed because I really wanted her to come to my campsite, so I'm very glad she's there now. She's definitely one of my favorites. I also really like Goldie and I can't remember her name, but the little yellow elephant I also think is very cute. In the request, it says that Bunny wants one of these green beetles, so I'm actually going to go to Sunburst Island, and there is an animal there that I couldn't fill the request through Pete's Parcel Service, so I'm going to go there right now. I see a beetle already, let's just catch it. All right. <laughs> oh, there's two. let's just fill this request. I think there's a few of them, so let's just do that really quickly. I wonder if I'll get to level 34 during this video, hopefully. I also have to craft some more furniture in a minute because there's another character I'm trying to get to my campsite, so I have to do that next. There are just so many characters to invite to your campsite in this game, it's so much fun. Also, even if you don't play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, but you do play one of the Nintendo Switch games, let me know how you like it. It looks like fun, I've been watching all the videos of people starting out on the game, it's really cute. It's quite similar to this one, but I think it's um, you can do a lot more in those games. I still really like this one though. I've been telling all my friends about it, and now a bunch of them are playing it as well, so I highly recommend it. Especially right now, it's a good way to relax and just do something really fun. Let me just catch a few more bugs, and then I'm going to craft some furniture. Oh no, the dragonfly left. Maybe he'll come back. Here's someone. It's also good if you're looking to make some more friends in this game, um, you can find them. Sometimes the game will just randomly put somebody on one of the island locations or whatever they are, so that's good. Did the dragonfly come back? Oh well. <laughs> oh, there's a butterfly. It's nice when you can find some of these rare bugs because they're worth more bells. Also, if you didn't know, bells are the in-game currency, so it's always good to get those. Let's get one more beetle and then I have to fill that other request. Then I'm going to craft some more furniture. Let me just send this over to her.
All right, now I'm going to work on some furniture. Currently, I'm trying to get Broccolo, Broccolo, I'm not sure how you say it, but I'm trying to get this little mouse guy to come to my campsite, so I'm in the middle of crafting um, his furniture requests, so let's do that really quickly. I try to do a few every so often, because some of them take, like this one just said it'll only take a minute to be made, but some of them take longer, so I just try to do a few at a time. Oh, by the way, while we're here, this is Ketchup. She is so cute. What's the name of the yellow elephant? I couldn't remember. Oh, Eloise, okay. Philbert is also really cute, and Maggie. This is such a funny furniture piece, an egg clock. Interesting, I guess it'd be good for Easter. While we're waiting, I'm just going to sell a few of my um, things that I've collected. You can also sell these and sometimes make a little bit more in the market boxes, but I prefer to sell them straight back to the game just because it is um, it takes less time and you don't have to wait. So usually I sell any of the rare bugs I find or fish or anything like that. If I need some bells, I usually sell them back to the game. You definitely don't have to do this, but I just like to when I'm running low on bells. Okay, so we've finished all of the furniture requests for Broccolo, Broccolo, not sure how you say it, but let's go invite him to the campsite. I think I have to let someone leave first because I don't think I have enough room, but let's go check. Let's see, I think I'll send Carmen home. She's been here for a while. Okay, so before we invite this little guy to our campsite, I just noticed another thing we have to do, which is raise the friendship level to at least five. So let's call and invite him somewhere. Yes, let's do that. We have to use a call card. I do have two of those, so I'll use that. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I guess we can fill a few requests for this little guy, and then we can... I think if you give um, the characters a snack, it raises their level a little bit, so let's see what we can do. Oh, by the way, while I'm doing this, I just wanted to ask you guys, if I did do a video like this again, let me know the length of video you guys prefer, especially for this kind of gameplay thing, because I know some of the ones I watch can go from like 20 to 40 minutes, so this one might be a little bit shorter, might be a little bit longer, I'm not sure yet, I'll see when I get to edit it, but let me know if you like longer or shorter videos. I've been experimenting with longer videos on my channel, but I've noticed those don't get the best views. So just let me know in the comments if you prefer shorter videos, longer videos, sort of in between videos. Just let me know because I'd really like your feedback so I can make videos that you guys will enjoy. I'm going to give Bracolo I'm just gonna say Bracolo, I'm not sure if that's right, but that's what I'll say for now. <laughs> Let's give him two of these. Oh wow, <laughs> we definitely made it to level five. All right, I think we can invite him to our campsite now. Oh, and I also went up a level, that's cool. Oh, they're cute. Okay, let's invite this guy to our campsite. It's very weird. I've noticed in this game the characters when you used when I used to invite characters to my campsite, they would come and there would be kind of like a montage of them at the campsite, like a like a celebration kind of of them getting there, but they don't do that anymore. I'm not sure why. Let's see some of the characters want to chat, so let's see what they're up to. Eloise is so cute. She was another one that I really tried hard to get to my campsite. Oh, and she gave us some bells, how nice.
Let's see who else. Oh, our new visitor actually wants to talk. Gotta find him first. <laughs> Let's chat with Mary first since she's over here. Oh, she's giving us a gift. Very nice. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> okay, let's go find Broccolo. He's over here. There he is. He's so cute. He's so small. Okay, so we filled all the requests. Let's see what else is going on. Let me just collect these things. I'm also going to pay off a little bit of my loan while I'm here. I try to do a little bit of this every day, just so it doesn't sit there forever. Um, I think I'll pay 20000 right now. Let's see. Oh, I can get into the Shovel Strike Quarry. I think I'm going to do this and then I'll end the gameplay and then we can go check out the nail art that I did inspired by this. So let's just do this and then we'll be all finished with the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was a really fun thing to do. Oh, I'm so excited. I love doing the Shovel Strike Quarry every day. It's so much fun. I really like when you actually get good rewards from this. I haven't gotten any really big ones lately, but... Hopefully I do this time. Mm, not the best, but that's still good. Okay, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I remember the one thing, I've just been trying so hard to get a really big reward again because I remember, I think it was the first time I ever did this, I got like 30,000 bells, which is crazy, but lately I've just gotten not as much, so we'll see, maybe tomorrow. Also, I do recommend um, getting help from your friends to get into the Shovel Strike Quarry just because it's a lot easier than having to use leaf tickets because leaf tickets are harder to come by and if you don't get a really great reward, then it's not really worth all the leaf tickets. So um, you can do either way, but I prefer doing it with the friend method. I think it's a lot easier. So okay, I think that's all for this portion of the video. This was really fun to do. Once again, I will leave my friend ID in in the description box down below, so if you play this game and you need another friend, then my code will be in the description box. So I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm super happy with how this nail art turned out. It was a little tricky and since I haven't done hand painting in a while, but it was really fun and a good challenge, so let's head over to that portion of the video, so let's check it out. All right, so let's get started with the nail art. I have three designs to show you. If you wanna see the fourth design, the little floral design, you head over to my TikTok account to see that design. So the first design I'll be showing you is inspired by Isabel. She is one of the very popular Animal Crossing characters. So you'll wanna start off with two shades of yellow, one lighter and one darker. You can use acrylic paint or nail polish for this, it doesn't matter which. And you just wanna create the shape of her head and her little ears and the little fluff on the top of her head and I chose to do a second coat of both of those. So now you can just create her eyes with two dots of black and then you want to create her muzzle, part of her face, with some white. Also, just so you know, I did let everything dry in between coats. Then you want to add her cheeks in these cute little pink dots and her little hair tie. I ended up doing her mouth off camera just because it was more detailed, but that's all. You'll just need a reference photo for all of these just so you know. So for the next design, we're going to be doing Rosie. She's another one of my favorites. And you just want to start with a kind of periwinkle blue base and just create, again, a round face on your nails and add some triangle ears. Next, you can add the little detail on her head, which you can just darken the blue color you already started with. So just add a little purple to it. 
Next, you wanna add her eyes. These were a little tricky to do. I did go back in and fix them a few times, but you just wanna kind of make them pretty big and then add some black dots. Once again, I mentioned this briefly a second ago, but be sure you have reference photos. Just look up Animal Crossing characters and you can find pictures of them so you can do them better. The eyes got a little bit messy, but it turned out okay in the end. Then you wanna take a detail brush. You could also use a toothpick to do this and just create her little curvy mouth on the bottom. And I did the, the rest of the eyes off camera. Then you can add her ears with a darker pink and a lighter pink. I think she's such a cute character. And I realized I could have made these characters a little bit bigger, but in the moment I didn't notice that. But if you wanna make them bigger on your nails so you have more space to work, that works too. The final design I'll be showing you is the little leaf logo that I see a lot on the Animal Crossing games. And this one is super simple, just create a little kind of oval shape with a little hole missing and then fill it in with some green. You can use a darker green for this, but since this was a more kind of pastel manicure, I just went with a lighter green. And then I added a little bit of some darker green details, but you can't really see that. Once your nails are completely dry, you'll want to finish off with a glossy top coat. Once again, if you want to see how I did this beautiful floral design, head over to my TikTok account at 360 Nails. I did do a collaboration with Honey Candy over there and we both did a floral design, so I wanted to incorporate that into this manicure. Also, I didn't mention this before, but if you've seen some of my other videos recently, you'll know that this manicure is actually kind of a recycled manicure. I thought these colors were perfect for this mani that I wanted to show you guys, so I decided to stick with these colors. So you can choose any base color you want, but this was the manicure I had on, so I decided to use these as background colors. I am so happy with how these nails turned out. I have not done hand painting in so long, and I think it's really cute, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do recreate this design, then share with me on Instagram with hashtag TSN inspo so I can share and see your recreation. I always enjoy doing that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see another video like this, please let me know in the comments and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for a new video every week. And I hope you're all staying safe, doing well, and I'll see you in my next one. Have a polished rest of your day. Bye!